This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. <laughs> It's PSG, and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Princes. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's premier club competition, the Champions League. This, the first leg of the semi-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Usman Dembele plays with Marco Asensio in the wide positions. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. He must finish! And he read it really well. Fine save. Short corner it is. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Being pressed hard. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And an astute piece of defending. Lewandowski. Joao Felix. And still looking for space. Terrific piece of anticipation. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. But they took care. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? PSG corner and there's the delivery oh good save excellent header Barcelona seeding possession Marquinhos Lee Asensio oh great defending well maybe a good position from which to counter oh what an opportunity a majestic piece of goalkeeping there that's goalkeeping at its best he's so hard to beat from that sort of range delivering it clears it away Stop them in their tracks. Well, unable to bend his run offside.
Vitor Ferreira. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. And a lot to like about this attack. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, I must say, no shortage of space for Barcelona. Gundogan. In search of space. Well, is it going to be a productive moment for Barcelona? Corner. And taken short. And a fine stop. Well, trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. And the short option preferred. Opportunity missed. Kylian Mbappe Hakimi emphasis on the clearance a good one he's very adept at protecting the ball a wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward really good piece of goalkeeping there Gundogan Fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. Vitor Ferreira. Hakimi. Just too much lost. Araujo. So to the keeper. Christensen. Oriol Romeu. Here's Rafinha. Lewandowski. Perfect challenge. Asensio. And the no-nonsense clearance. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Failure to keep the ball by Barca. Nuno Mensch. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Chance for Dembele. And a goal! The opening statement of this semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, I have to say, that's a really composed finish. He had to get that absolutely right. He certainly did that. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. The ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That strong play. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Joao Felix. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And it's a quality pass. Romeu. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Hakimi. Asensio. Mbappe! Oh, the post denied him. It comes to absolutely nothing. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. And Usman Dembele, very hard to contain in the first half. No surprise there. What did you make of what you saw from him? 
Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And the ball is moving again. The onus is on Barcelona to turn this game on its head. Could cross it in here. Failure to keep it there from Gundogan. Marco Asensio, and he was in the right place to intercept. Joao Felix, and goes for goal! Well, getting in the way, superb save. It's a short corner. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Lee. Here is Marco Asensio. Mbappe. Mbappe! Can they stop it going in? clearance I must say I didn't see that coming simple for to Stegen now options are plenty that's a good looking ball just the clearance that was called for the crowd encouraging him to take it on oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack now breaking at pace potential danger Cancelo now with De Jong oh great defending Joao Felix Gundogan threading it through Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And a substitution in the offing. Let's see about the delivery. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And that'll be a Barca throw. Just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. So, oh, they might score. And in the back of the net for PSG, that lead extended to two now. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So, back underway. That's a scoreline standing at 2-0. Joao Cancelo and Barca moving the ball with purpose Cancelo it's neat passing confidence on the ball well it was a good looking sequence but it comes to an end well the counter chance looks very real promising pass Mbappe into the middle is this the moment and he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Oriol Romeu. Lewandowski. Torres. Marquinhos with the block.
Dembele. Manuel Ugarte. Lee. In behind for him to chase. Well, he's been ruled offside. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Running with the ball confidently. Lucas Hernandez. Promising move from Barcelona. Can he get one back? A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. And over comes the corner. Pressing like that will help the cause. And fine goalkeeping. And short it is. And Lewandowski waiting. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, the action continues, and you sense the momentum may well be with Barca here. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he's made headway. Splendid defending. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Romeo. Able to skip past his man. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Marco Asensio. Ten minutes to go then. Mbappe. And Marco Asensio giving it away. Ferran Torres. Superb looking pass. And Robert Lewandowski on the move here. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And Lewandowski does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. It's a great finish. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain, they know, a goal, oh, and the decision is penalty, a big chance for them to take the lead here. Well, no card handed out, he gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one, no yellow card for me. And a chance to restore their advantage. And in it goes, as cool never in any doubt from the spot well as you can see from the replay the keeper tries to read the penalty but he's sent the wrong way and it ends up looking a very easy finish Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. 
Rafinha. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Time is against them here. But timely defending when it mattered. Dembele. Pereira. Chances on. And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. Lucas Hernandez. Here is Marco Asensio. And a fine tackle. Firing it towards goal! And with that, the referee brings this knockout stage contest to an end. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, one that they will now carry into the decisive second leg of the tie. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today, and, of course, he scored two really good goals.